It's a Game of Thrones within the lightweight division, just as it is elsewhere throughout the 17 weight classes of the sport. A resurgence seems to be brewing within the 135 pound division, with arguably the best fighter in the sport calling lightweight home. The division is poised to become a feeding frenzy of great fights for years to come. And the old saying, all good things come in small packages, now seems more true than ever. The race to see what division of boxing is the best may be a close one. We've talked recently about the powerhouse welter and middleweight divisions, but the dark horse in this race seems to be the lightweight division. So, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. At the top of the division, with the blue pill well ingested in his stomach, is the world's very own Neo from the Matrix, Vasily Lomachenko. We can type away until our fingers bleed about how good Loma is, but plain and simple, the man is a stud. With three of the four belts of the division draped around him, the unified champ is the king of the division. Looking away from Loma's kingship is the other belt holder of the division, Richard Comey. The African assassin Comey is a big 135 pounder. At five feet eight inches with a 71 inch reach, Comey's power and highlight reel knockouts have surely given would-be opponents reason to worry. A scrap between Comey and Lomachenko would be groundbreaking. But first, he'll have to get past Teofimo Lopez, who will put his IBF title on the line against later this year. Speak of the devil and he shall arrive. At 22, it's hard to believe Teofimo Lopez is as good as he is. And the scary part is, he's only getting better. One can argue that L. Brooklyn hasn't been tested in the division, but he'll have his toughest test to date when he faces the champ, Comey, later this year. Now, let's wait and see if he can pass with flying colors. Whenever a fighter gets the protege tag thrown at them, it's always best to tread lightly. Often, fighters will get caught up in their very own hype wave pool. That doesn't seem to be the case with Floyd Mayweather protege Gervonta Davis. Davis's move up in weight to 135 could be the best case scenario for him. With no word on who he'll face first at lightweight, our minds are starting to wander. How great would a scrap between him and Loma be? Or what about him and another wonder kid of the division, Ryan Garcia? Man oh man, we are pumped. Young and talented seems to be the division's motto. And another great young name that comes to mind is Ryan Garcia. The kid looks like he walked off an Abercrombie and Fitch photo shoot, and at 21, he has the talent and potential to turn into something really special. The Golden Boy fighter who hopes to become the next Golden Boy of the sport is undefeated with 15 of his 18 wins coming by way of stoppage and can become a household name in just a few short years. Devin Haney at 20, like Garcia, has an enormous amount of potential. When most kids are enjoying Sweet 16 birthday parties, Haney was making his pro debut. Now with 23 fights under his belt and an undefeated record, Haney is the interim WBC champ. His next fight should be against top dog Lomachenko or any of the other current 135 pound champs. With plenty of exciting names like Loma, Comey, Garcia, and now Davis, there are no shortages of intriguing matchups at 135 pounds. And with the age of some of these fighters, we can be treated to some great fights for years to come. The old saying is true, good things sure do come in small sizes.